Hello my loves and welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. It is a pleasure, a blessing to be able to shuffle cards for you in this way. So we do have a pick a card reading. I'm going to focus on what your guides need you to be open to receiving right now in the way of you being carried, in the way of you having support or additional love from them right now. Um, Cause that's just what I'm feeling this morning. That's generally what it is that I'm feeling. So I do have three piles set up for you guys. Pile number one, pile number two, pile number three, allow your intuition to kind of roll with it and flow with it. And then I'm going to shuffle from the after tarot and get additional channeled messages, which I am known for. The oracle cards are only going to support the things that it is that I am intuitively sensing. Before we dive into the readings, please guys, um, if you could help me find my glasses. Yeah, strange request, but this community is very psychically in tune and very gifted. I personally have sat down and tried to um, place them like, like in my in my mind's eye, but for whatever reason there is a major blockage. So I'm just like, you know what? I'm gonna ask my tribe, my people, if they can help. So they're the gold ones specifically. They're the gold ones. They're around here somewhere. I don't know where they would would be though. I've been moving around a lot, you guys. I know um, you may know I'm getting ready for the shop update, July 6. So I've been taking on my glasses, taking off my glasses. It's been, but I really want them back. They're here somewhere in the house but I just don't know where and I don't want to spend any more time knocking things over trying to look look for them, okay? So thank you for those who do participate in helping me to find them. And having said that, I'm gonna go ahead and dive into your reading. So if you chose pile number one, these are your oracle cards. I'm gonna shuffle or reveal them after I'm done shuffling. But for right now, I wanna be able to connect with your angels and see what specifically, how they specifically want to help you through this moment in your life. And I find that really interesting because you can apply this to wherever it fits within your life, your own goals. Um, they intuitively know what it is that you will be asking for. Or sometimes this will extend beyond what you would even know to ask for yourself. So this is why this reading feels very important. The guides of those that chose, whoa, whoa. The guides that chose, I don't know if you guys saw that, but these cards just really sat right on top of my hand. I wasn't even able to shuffle them. We have Ace of Swords and we have the Three of Swords. So right away there's a reference to heartache. Wow, I'm, I just got the, um, I just heard the word tension in the heart, so it feels like the heart might be being pulled right now. Temperance card and the Nine of Wands. It's interesting too as I look at, yeah, as I look at the Temperance card, I'm, I'm hearing that any type of tension or conflict that's been happening in the heart is opening, is acting to open the heart up like a portal. And I, I definitely heard the word portal. Ace of Cups and then the Four of Swords is showing up here. So your guides really want you to understand, or no, they are leading you to understand the power of pain. They are leading you to understand the power of disappointment. This is something that you can't, if you sit with it and try to logically explain it, you'll be at a loss for words. It won't ever make sense to you. Some of you guys are thinking along the lines of how things happen there, it's not fair. And you know, like your, your immediate reaction is to be defensive to like, well, why would you expect it to be fair? Um, why would you expect this world to be fair? Why would you expect this situation to be fair when things happen, like good things quote unquote happen to bad people? I'm sorry, yeah. When good things happen to bad people, um, how does that happen? And Spirit says, when you try to make sense of it all, you won't make, be able to make sense of it all because this isn't the purpose of pain or the purpose of disappointment or this 
energy having a blockage and not working out is not because it was meant to work out. The, the way how things work out sometimes is them not working out, if that makes any sense. And with the temperance card showing up in the nine of wands, there's this message right now of, I just heard spirit say the word, be articulate with your feelings. So that you're learning how to speak your feelings, articulate your feelings, or they're encouraging you to try to express yourself. For some of you guys, that can be talking to another person. For others, it could be you journaling and getting it out. And the more that you are releasing and pouring it out of the heart, the more that your heart ultimately ends up expanding and being and, and going to an actual higher vibration despite feeling disappointment. For some of you guys, this might be a trigger of abandonment issues or feeling like you've been left out of something. And spirit wants you to mourn the loss in that and to take your mourning very seriously, meaning try, don't skip over it. Make time and space for you to feel what it is that you're feeling because the fact that your heart, one of the girls actually said this on the second Costa Rican trip. She was like, I'm so glad that my heart, I'm so glad that my heart broke so many times in order to open me up so that I can even be in this place with you, with you, meaning with the group. And it's so true that our hearts sometimes do need to break in order to give us clarity, in order for us to be open to receiving. And sometimes that sounds very counterintuitive, but if we think about our great leaders, like spiritual leaders that have come before us, they have taught us about pain, sacrifice, suffering, and then forgiveness, compassion, and grace. And that's something that humanizes us all. It brings us all together. Every single one of us is carrying somewhat of a story. Hurt people do hurt people, but you get to choose what you do with that hurt. Do you take it as something that creates a blockage, a barrier from you being open to love and connection? Or does it, do you see the common ground between you and others that you will meet and help to heal those and help to heal others, help to help heal those who you cross paths with? So spirit really wants you to, it, how they can help you right now is by ushering you through any type of aches, healing that needs to happen. Some of you, I heard the word depression. Some of you guys are really navigating through those dark waters of depression and anxiety. And spirit, I just heard spirit says, you're not meant to be going this alone. Like you're not meant to be walking through this swamp of the mind alone. That it is a scary place, but that spirit is here with you. And they are... This is a part of like a, a person, believe it or not, transcending to become a greater healer. Um, yeah, so that that's very, very interesting. It's it, very interesting too that I'm looking at the Four of Swords and normally I definitely see this as a card of rest, but I see this as you going to another who is resting or needing healing with the, with the actual capacity to heal someone else. And for some of you guys, I, I'm hearing, I heard the word side sidestep, like you feel like focusing on the pain of another is, is taking away from you being able to focus on yourself and that you do spend a lot of time helping other people right now. You need to be helped. Spirit is not saying that, Spirit Act doesn't want to move the healing away from you. They're just saying that in time, keep your eyes on that, that in time you're going to feel so healed and so abundantly poured into you. If you're open to this healing now that you'll be able to even pour it into others, it'll make you feel good to pour it into others. And if you're not there yet, that's perfectly okay. Continue to move through. Um, I, a spirit said articulate. So again, this is about talking about it, talking about your feelings, talking about even if you think it's a stupid thought, it's not a stupid thought. It's in a, It represents a subconscious belief. And again, we're sorting out the swamp. We're clearing out the swamp. So the swamp represents our subconscious brain, our subconscious beliefs. It represents things that you struggle with, etc., etc. So, wow. 
And the judgment card is at the very bottom of this reading and it brings deep, deep cl um, clarity, especially through um, healing breakthroughs. Okay, let me look at your oracle cards. Um, it's early morning time here. So my roosters and my hands are very busy. Right before I went, started recording for this, uh, my hands laid an egg and they were all cheering each other on, which is amazing. Okay, we have spider spirit, make your dreams real. So it's very interesting because I think that, um, even as I'm saying this with make your dreams real, our dreams reveal to us a lot about our subconscious mind and healing can come to you through your subconscious mind. So when I hear the word make, when I hear the words together in this situation, because you guys know it, I'm intuitively reading right now. When I hear the word make your dreams real, I'm seeing this as paying attention to the energy of your dreams and what feels very real. Because those parts of you that feel very real, there's something that can be called into your dream state to help heal you in the situation. Um, also, it feels very, um, what's the word? Like prophetic. So you might be receiving um, prophetic downloads and visions while you are resting and this is a part of your healing. Stag spirit, we see take the lead. And exactly, I feel like this is taking the lead for yourself when it comes to your own healing. Um, but also calling out to your, your angels and guides want you to call out to them to help you to be an effective leader now. Um, so this means that you might be needing to pour, having to ask that you be poured into with strength so that you have the courage and the capacity to be an effective leader or be a lead for yourself. Some of you guys are waiting for something to come in and rescue you when it's you who has to kind of do the work here. It's you who has to ask for help. So spirit, your angels and your guides are saying, allow us to help you be a leader or allow us to give you the courage and the strength to lead yourself through this season in your life because you, you are going to be your own hero. Also, um, your angels and your guides want to ask that you ask them to speak to you through your dreams because that's when your mind is racing. Like, look at the Ace of Swords here. We have this bird who had to cover up his eyes here. Um, when your mind is constantly whirring and going, it can really block your ability to subconsciously and intuitively receive. So... Bad, badger spirit, be fearless and bold. So that's a tough one because for some of you guys, I, I don't know why I'm getting a strong sense that being that bold self is something that has kind of separated you from others or has created some type of, um, I, don't, I wanted to say discord, but it's spirit said like disconnect, you know? Um, so meaning like you might have been disconnected from other people. There might have been like just sep something that separates you from others and spirit really wants again. There's this feeling of maybe like ne waiting for someone to show up or I don't know why I'm hearing like waiting for someone to show that they care when it's not that people don't care or that's or maybe if there are maybe if there is an absence of caring spirit is still saying like i'm trying to lead you through the swamp right now so or i'm trying to lead you through the muck of this situation so that we can start so that we can take your healing to the next level you know so um yeah i also want to say that for some of you guys with be fearless and bold make your dreams real and take the lead there's so much here about let's go like it is time some of you guys might be rest like sleeping on hurt places or parts of you that believe that you are incapable, that you are not strong, that you, or like you might be staying in a space that is hurting you or causing you to suffer or parts of you that are dead or need to let go of. And that's what's stopping you from really showing up as in the way that you're, you're, you've been called to right now and spirit wants to call that out. So let's look at your animal totem. Yeah. Wolverine, you're a lot tougher than you think you are. This is for good and for bad. Sometimes the Wolverine is very 
Um, in this card, I see this as very tough, but also can be very intimidating. For some of you guys, you don't... I think you're learning how to be powerful and honestly understanding how that can intimidate others and not being bothered by that. I also think that for some of you guys, you are so tough and guarded that you're not allowing yourself to really crack open here. And and literally, Spirit is stepping in and, and helping, helping you to move past that, to move beyond that. And the next word that we have here, the next oracle card, we have Pegasus, transcend. And I really have never done this before, but I want to, at least for not this card, but I want to ask you guys to look into the symbolism and the story of Pegasus and see how that story applies to your situation right now, because this is a loaded message. And then we have transcending, which is exactly what it is that I've been talking to you about, that there's spirit is calling you into a point of action and a bold leap of faith in order to transcend your current situation to get you to, to infinity and beyond where you're meant to be when it comes to you as a healer and you within your healing. So there's a lot of um, action that's going on with this group. And if they're asking for anything right now, they're asking for the invitation for them to come into your life in a full capacity to help you to, to move past the current reality in order to prepare you, heal you, and get you ready for actually being able to be someone who heals others, but also being so filled in your life that it just pours out of you, the abundance pours out of you. So I hope this makes sense. I hope it resonated. And if it did, please comment down below the word transcend in order to keep that energy going. And then definitely please look up the um, story of Pegasus and feel free to share. I really wanna encourage you to share how this message applied to you. Um, and then share it down in the comments because it will definitely help someone else, okay? So I'm gonna move on to the next pile, pile number two. Hello, honeys. If you chose pile number two, these are your oracle cards right over here. And I'm gonna go ahead and shuffle for you for how your guides, oh, I just realized that these cards aren't in there. How your guides want to help and support you right now. keep hearing um fly me to the moon i want to sail amongst the stars this pile really um not that we don't want big things but this pile really wants something big to happen like i'm even hearing the word tremendous wow four of swords let me clarify four of swords here yeah whoa speaking of the moon so i keep hearing the the song fly me to the moon i wanna sail amongst the stars there's something about um just wanting bigger like really wanting bigger Four of Wands, the Moon card, Four of Swords, Five of Pentacles, the Magician card reversed. So it's like you, wherever you're at right now, you want more. Um, Spirit is actually saying we want to help you to get to that. We, we genuinely want to help you to get to that. Four of Wands is the culmination of all of those things kind of falling together for some of you guys. It's specifically marriage, connection, romance, reunion, reconciliation. There feels like an absence, a drought, a void. I feel like you're doing the best that you can in this space of lack of love. It, there's, it definitely feels like love, like a lack of connection or intimacy. And I feel like there's a lot of... Can you clarify the moon card for me one more time? Yeah. You're looking for, for, if this isn't, if this reading is not about love, like if you can't relate to this right now, 
I don't know if this is your reading because this feels very specifically, it feels, if I tried to fit this into any other message, I think I would be forcing it. And with the Emperor card here and the World card, it feels like you're looking for the, the partner or you're looking for your partner to show up as a full partner. If that makes sense. It's like, even when I'm hearing, yeah, and then the bit bottom of this card, we have the Eight of Pentacles upright, and then we have Knight of Wands reversed. So this is someone who can't fulfill something. I, I'm quick, okay, let me be transparent. I'm quick to point the finger in this situation and say that it's someone else. However, the fact that I feel called to say that might be significant for this pile because even though I just said that this could be about love, I would not be surprised if Spirit said that there's something about the person who chose, there could be something about some of us who chose this pile who, um, who, don't want to don't want to show up for yourself. I'm also hearing for some of you guys you might even be burying your head in the sand for certain things. Um, I'm also hearing for some of you guys it's you who you've been looking for. Someone feels very burnt like burnt out um, in the midst of needing to complete something. There's a subconscious um, it's like the mind is actually deceiving you or I'm hoping that this isn't the truth, but someone, there might be someone who is deceiving others or al allowing like lies or something to kind of circle, like circulate. There's a need to it, I keep hearing the song, Fly Me to the Moon, I Want to Sail Among the Stars. So for some of you guys, this actually feels like someone who isn't grounded in reality with the Eight of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. They're not grounded in reality. They want, it's like someone who wants something or wants all these things. Or for some of you guys, you want like knowledge or wisdom, like ancient knowledge and wisdom, but you're not willing to like do the work or spiritually cleanse yourself or clear out your thoughts. Um, spirit won't give esoteric knowledge to those who, who wouldn't be able to hold it and handle it or won't hold it with heavy responsibility, you know, doesn't have the capacity to hold that responsibility. For others, when it comes to love and relationship, it's the absence of the masculine or the absence of a male figure or a partner, like a worthy, stable partner, doesn't actually have to be a male, so that you almost, um, and or if this partner is present, there might be a disconnection, like a huge disconnection between you and them, and there's lies here. There's something here that spirit, so what does spirit want from the situation? Like spirit, what is your, they want to talk about the oracle. Okay. Yeah. Spirit guardian of nature. They want you to retreat. They want you to fall back. Wow. You're okay. Then you have the Hawaiian owl. Your ancestral spirit guides are offering you guidance now. So pay close attention to signs and omens from them. So they are really trying to talk to you. For some of you guys, you might even be burying your head in the sand. Like I said, where you just are not ready, open, willing to receive what it is that they're trying to guide you. And there's a lot of information that can be received here. But are you, some of you guys, you're literally, even with the magician card reversed, you, you're not, you're like, you're, I don't want to say rejecting your power, but you're doing things that stop you from fully living in your full capacity your full potential. I always have a hard, wow. Manatee, we have, um, accept the situation as it, is, as it is rather than fighting to change it. So for some of you guys, there's something, um, there's something here about even with, 
a person here where it's like you can't change, especially the emperor type of energy, you can't change this person. They are who they are. Or they are... I, they don't, Spirit is saying they don't want you to play dumb. They want you, okay, wherever, this is, uh, now I'm getting pulled in a few different different directions. Um, and even as I said that, because there's different people who are in different seasons of your life. And then we have literally the Spirit Guardian of Winter here. So there's some of you guys that are in a season of winter where you're meant to ascend in your spiritual journey. Like really uh, apply, do the work. Um, but you're, there's something about you that's blocking it out. There's a subconscious fear or there's something that needs to be dealt with in the depths. So your angels and your guides are trying to reach to you and talk to you and share messages because they feel that you're ready. And it feels like you're just putting your hand, head in the sand because of burnout, because of just an inability to close this out, whatever this is. When it comes to relationships or a relationship, there's something about... Um, being deceived and that could be being a current relationship where there's a lot of deception that you have been aware of but trying to move past and just you know not even look at it or or you're learning about roles like R-O-L-E-S. You're learning about rules and like what a balanced, healthy relationship will look like either with the current relationship that you're in right now or the one that's to come. Yeah. Starfish spirit open to infinite possibility and sandpiper spirit be playful. Very interesting. So it's funny because the, remember the reading, the, the words were, sorry, it's having a difficult time because the sun keeps going in and then the clouds cover it if they're talking about fly me to the moon I want to sail amongst the stars so there's this need to kind of retreat and enjoy that retreat it doesn't feel like you're being pulled away or abandoned or isolated it had it feels very fun and there's so much to be gain to gain from retreating as I look at that we have the eight of wands here I don't know if you guys can see this it's really struggling with the lighting with the eight of wands there's this person who is shooting their arrow up into the sky and it's just like i just see you kind of wanting more for yourself and spirit is saying starfish spirit open to the infinite possibility you have opened up the infinite possibility it feels like there's something more that extends beyond this world that you are about to receive For some of you guys you're trying to change the world when ultimately you need to focus on just changing yourself or doing what you need to do and in that season of you focusing on yourself it does feel very playful and cathartic and joyful also it feels like your guides are asking you to have more fun and if your brain is too locked in in one way emperor energy here too stubborn in that one way it's you, you you're deceived by all that can happen here so retreating back from the situation even maybe putting down your wand, so to speak, and not trying to change a situation feels like the situation will change how it will and you can just show up with grace to how your how spirit is leading you to show up. It says accept the situation as it is rather than fight to change it. Easier said than done. Even when I say I'm hearing like fly me to the moon, I want to sail amongst the stars. It's not you who's driving this, the rocket ship. It's someone else. And in this case, I think it's your guides. So there's something about being hands off in this situation and allowing yourself to be led. So that's a very specific message. I hope it makes sense. Um, if it does, guys, I, this number of open up to infinite possibility, I would do, I would comment 888 to activate this energy further. Um, and if anybody wants to share the video link of that song, Fly Me to the Moon, down below, I'd really appreciate it. And what lyric stands out to you the most? Okay, let's move on to pile number three. Okay, my loves, for those of you that chose pile three or the third option, this is how your angels and your guides wish to help you and support you. Angels and guides. 
universe. How do you want to show up for pile number three? I just th heard the word um, companionship or companion. I'm also seeing um, like animal support. <laughs> oh my God. And as I said that, we have the strength card, which is a lady who is hugging a lion. I really get a strong sense of like loyalty. I also get a strong sense of like having peace despite what things look like. And I'm also hearing through thick and thin, through thick and thin, through the thick and the thin. Um, I'm wondering if there's someone here that's listening to all of the piles because there are very um, similar cards being pulled out. Yeah, spirit really wants you to be very open to companionship right now. Um, don't get mad at me. <laughs> don't shoot the messenger. I just want to tell you that some of you guys are being hard on your family or hard on your friends. Or you're not allowing help to come in. Or you're not asking for help and you're it's too hardened. Um... I feel like the emperor is so focused, right? And this is you. I feel like the emperor, you as the emperor, is so focused on what you're doing that you don't realize that you're not smiling, you're not cracking jokes like you used to, your heart isn't fully open like it was. And there's something about, like, delegating. Even the emperor has this animal at his feet. There's something about companionship here, like partnership. As I say that, the Magician card has this bird. Sorry, the lighting is a little weird right now. Um, the Emperor, I'm sorry, the, the, the Magician has this bird on the table. There's something about companionship here and allowing, opening up to connection and opening, asking for help. This is on all the fronts, not just relationships or family or friendship. Um, work. This is everywhere that you go asking for help, asking, you know, can you help me carry my groceries? Like, can you give me some ideas here? What do you think? It's like something about asking for at the table, you as the leader, you within the leader of your life, allowing others to contribute and to collaborate in a sense of building a sense of community. Um, if you don't have that, Spirit is asking that you ask them to help you to build community, a sense of community. Um, I just heard the word stark differences, so Spirit might actually lead you to people who are very different from you or think very differently from you, but they are asking you to be open to that because you would be surprised. I'll just leave it at that. Like, you would be so surprised how... I also heard the word like preconceived notions, like there's certain things that you might expect of someone, but you'd be surprised how, what they can come up with or how they can show up or the way that they would show up for you. If this is again, not something that is currently here, this is asking for the right sense of support. Like think, like think of this, right? We have this strength card here. And she is hugging this beast. You would think, right, if you looked at a beast, you would automatically think, oh, he's going to rip her to shreds. But that's not what happens. He protects her in some way because he understands her in a major way. And they look out for each other. So there's something here to be said that don't expect. Try not, yeah, even the Page of Cups, it's this, this person who is pleasantly surprised by this fish jumping out of the cup. There's something here to be said about offerings and being open and how healing that can be. The star, the star card here, it feels very healing. So your angels and your guides are asking you to ask them to bring in community connection, help support intimacy into your life because I think you're too stuck in your own way. That's what they're saying. I... Don't, again, don't shoot the messenger here. All right, let's look at your oracle. Wow. 
we have <laughs> spirit guardian of autumn letting go and this is honestly you letting go of your responsibilities you letting go of your expectations of yourself you letting go of how you expect others to show up how they've normally shown up i think you would be surprised yeah reflecting pool stillness this is really interesting because i actually want to shuffle on this yeah queen of pentacles some of you guys it's time for you to not be doing so much For some of you guys, you might actually be the person everyone can call on and you're always there. Yeah, Four of Pentacles, wow. We have Four of Pentacles and then we have the Empress here. So if Four of Pentacles is the responsibilities or the title or the expectations that you hold for yourself, the things that you won't let go of, and then the Empress is your ability to fully receive here. So, and even with the Empress card, let's say she's someone who is normally hands-on, always going, always moving. If she's pregnant, right, because this card is the card of pregnancy, if she's pregnant or growing something, she can't be moving in the same way that she once was. And we have the Queen of Pentacles here, and her pet is this rabbit, and her rabbit is racing. It's literally bolting across the card. So there's something here to be said about not embodying that energy and leaning into stillness. And it's interesting, too, that you have the card of letting go, and then you have the card for pentacles, the card that doesn't want to let go. And then you have the skull guy showing up, ushering in this transformation to allow you to let go, and the blessing that it is to let go. Even with the star card here, it's about fully letting go and allowing healing to emerge. Let's look at the rest of your oracle. Oh, my goodness, guys. You're not going to believe this but you will. So Meerkat, get support from a trusted group of like-minded friends. That is so crazy for a few la layers, right? Get support from a trusted group. That right there is what I was just saying this entire time. But like-minded friends is so interesting because remember how I was saying it feels like it's a different mindset here. Or maybe it's a, if it's the same group of people, you would be surprised how they will show up for you or what they can do if you're open to it. And Spirit is asking, like, how can we help? We're going to help you to let go We're gonna, so that you can be supported right now so that you can fully embrace the season in your life of healing or maybe not doing as much and showing up in the same way. And that's interesting, too, because the meerkat, I always think of a meerkat sticking his head over the sand and like looking around and looking for danger. And I feel like there's something about not being on the defense, not having to wait for someone to drop the ball or wait for things to fall apart so that you can swoop in and fix it and pull it together because the emperor card is also here. There's something to be said about maybe kind of letting things fall apart for a little bit so that they can fall together, really letting go in this situation. And for some of you guys, you're not ready to do that, but your angels and your guides are saying, listen, that's why we're here because we can help you to do that. Wow. You, then you have the weasel card. And it says, be silent, pay attention, and simply observe with your eyes, ears, and physical feelings what is happening inside and all around you. Again, that's the energy of stillness. Next card, we have unicorn. Indulge your creative, imaginative, and magical side through some form of artistic expression. And artistic energy and creative energy can only flow if we let go of the expectation and the sternness that is that we hold on ourselves. There's something here that is going to make itself known here. It's going to present itself as an opportunity. And for some of you guys, it'll actually open the door to amazing abundance by leaning into your creative, creative nature. But there's a part of you that has to let go of something first in order to fall back and trust fall into how spirit is trying to move you and lead you right now. Wow. White Raven spirit, trust in the magic. Trust in the magic. Then we have pig spirit, and it says when pig, pigs fly, I think that's so funny. Use your mind wisely. Wow, and then we have ant spirit, time to collaborate. So I can't, I can't make this up. There's a lot of energy right now about collaboration, connection, community. It's interesting too with the pig spirit because with use your mind wisely, it's the magician card feels like 
you loosening up some strings in your brain to kind of allow your, your mind to be more flexible and fluid and creative and imaginative and magical. Um, that's how spirit wants you to use your mind is in embracing instead of constantly thinking in the same way and repeating the same patterns, being open to letting go, relaxing, even incorporating meditation so that you can see a different outcome here or so that you can experience a different outcome, especially when it comes to community connections and support, because even if this has to do with something level to with abundance, or even if this has something to do with receiving abundance, spirit really wants to talk to you about the, the blessing of community, actual community and communal support. So that's a very specific message, my loves. Um, I hope this resonates. I hope that helped you. Go to your angels and your guides, talk to them about it. Call out to your angels and your guides because they're here to help you. And let me know how it pans out for you. All right, my loves, I will talk to you and see you in my next video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Bye.